Hello everyone and welcome back to Timberborn. This is episode 13 of the Road to 500 Beaver Challenge. This will be the last episode as we already have 451 beavers. Just need to get a few more beds and then have some beavers fill them up. Last episode I did not even realize that we were making pretty good progress on this dam. This one is probably, you know, two thirds of the way complete. The one over here is not quite as far along. We also have this monstrosity of a project, and I want to do my best to try and get this one complete also. And I did see some good comments in the comment section on the last episode, and I got reminded that you could actually place these buildings in the water, since they are two stories high and the entrance is on the second story. They won't be flooded, and they'll actually get the benefit of having wet fur. And since this is the last episode, I want to focus on getting their well-being up, because they're at 17 right now, and that's not very high. We should get that way higher. Varies from district to district, like this one's 21, Delaware is only 9, whereas Maryland's only 14, and Rhode Island's 16. Yeah, so it varies a bit, and I think I'll probably go look district to district and see what each of them need. There are a few things that I know everyone would like, and I know the temple, carousel, and mud bath would be one, as they haven't been unlocked yet. So let's spend some of our science, and oh my gosh, we have 43,000 science. That is just ridiculous. We honestly should have just unlocked everything at this point. Let's go and do that. As you can tell, I have some mods, and I used them in the most recent mega build, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. It's on the channel. I'm excited to start using these in the future. I think in the next few series I'm going to start using them a bit more. Oh, here we go, the monuments. Get that Flames of Progress. And I have only used this a couple times. And this is a chonker. It takes a lot of power to operate. It has a humongous radius though. So you can take a look at their well-being and see what they do and don't have. I should definitely be able to make maple pastries. What? even goes into that. Logs, maple syrup, and wheat flour. Oh, we don't have any wheat flour. After unlocking what appears to be everything, except for some of the modded stuff, we now have 15,000 science, so that was quite a bit that we just spent there. We're gonna get ready to plant a wheat field over here. We have a couple rooftop terraces, a campfire, a couple shrines, and then also these three lighters right here. Over in Delaware, they have basically nothing, so this one's going to be pretty easy. Just start popping everything in possible. These guys in Delaware are going to be having a hell of a time. We have a couple campfires getting built right now. Some lidos, and then a, just a bunch of decorations as well as a couple monuments right here. Plus some shrines. It's all going to be great. And then I'm going to try and set up a, a little farm where I can get just some variety of food for them because they only have cattail crackers and spatter duck I think yeah because they're getting that delivered from another district and this way they'll be able to make some of their own food but before any of that I actually see that they're pretty low in water so I'm gonna build a water pump for them right now and unless we put this highest on the priority list it will not be complete until all this stuff is done and considering these take 200 and 400 logs and planks respectively, that could be a while. Did I forget? I think our well-being was 17 when I looked at it first, and now overall it's 16, so it's actually gone down a little bit. Not great. But as I go through the districts and start adding all these, then it should bump it up quite a bit. Oh, this is perfect. Back in Virginia, I put some Lido's around here, and they're going to be Lido buddies with their neighbors over in New York. Okay, so I just checked out the dirt pile, and it looks like they actually are getting rid of all the dirt, which means that they're exporting it faster than they can make it, which is amazing. Oh wow, they have actually gotten quite a bit done since I last checked. But I've been making my way around through the districts, and Maryland's going to have quite a few things also. Got some nice rooftop terraces, and then just some random decorations, campfire. We also have a temple buried away in here along with a few campfires. Back in Rhode Island, we got a guy to cattail crackers. Oh my gosh, they... is this filled? They they already filled this with spatter duck. That is absolutely crazy. Well, of the eight and a half thousand food, these guys have four and a half thousand. That's so much. 
these guys have quite a bit of space so we can easily fit a temple in. And then I think they don't have any rooftop terraces, so I might try and maybe fit a couple on these here. Yes, we can fit some rooftop terraces here. I tried to make the most of the space and just added some platforms underneath so we could fit an extra one instead of just the two. Also want to put another couple campfires if actually can we fit a couple? Oh yeah, I want to put a water dump up here. I totally forgot about that. Looking at this build, I want to prioritize that because it, it's going to look much better if this whole thing is green. You know, if I put a couple platforms here and have the path go around back, then it's going to be shorter for this guy to get here and also I can fit an extra campfire. Yeah, we can see what it looks like when we have some water up here. Looks like we got our water boy in here. I don't think he's going to probably dump any. He's just going to put it in is my guess. Yeah, he's done for the day. It's past the working hours. Well, tomorrow when the drought is over, then we can see what it looks like with this guy pumping some water. It's the next morning and the water is coming back. And just in time, because if you can see right down here, everything is drying up. And also you can see the water is now dumped in here. It's kind of spilling out the edges a little bit. So between all these districts, I've already put in like, we'll see, like about five labor monuments and flames of progress. And the flames of progress takes 400 planks and we only have 400 planks in total. But I gotta make sure we have plank production ramped up right now. Looks like we could use another plank producer here. Oh yeah, they are actually really low on planks. We do have some bots we could send over, but then we have to also send over biofuel. Uh, we're gonna do it, we're gonna just start making our own biofuel over here and then send some of the bots to work here in the lumber mills. We're not even done going through all the districts and we already got bumped up a couple well-being points up to 19 right now. Second to last district of Connecticut and I just realized that we have this water is spilling off the edge. How are these guys doing on workers? We have four unemployed beavers. We have these builders and then four more. I think we can probably fit one more builders hut in here. Get this built quickly and then we'll have some more builders to help out. So I just went through all the districts and that took me like well over an hour to get through everything. And we managed to get back up to 21,000 science from 15,000. Okay, let's see, back in Connecticut, they are a little low on logs. I think they are cutting down, oh, they probably, no, they're still getting some, but we really should just open up this to get chopped down. I guess we just got up to 21. That's the highest that we've ever been in terms of well-being. Twenty-two, keep going up. I'm gonna put the third to last housing down, and we want to prioritize it. Get it made quickly, since we do need to focus our resources in certain places right now. We're making it over here, where we are. Wow, that is almost done. Sorry. Uh, as I was saying, we're trying to get another house over here because. These guys have an unoccupied job, so that means that we could use a few more beavers. Got another temple that costs a butt-ton of logs and planks, so it'll probably be a while before it's ready. I'm actually going to leave this running, go have lunch, and then I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, I'm back, and it looks like the beavers have gotten a little bit happier since I left. Also looks like this dam is coming along pretty well. So it seems they got as far as they could. I should have added this path before I left. Oh, and right as we get back, it looks like there is a drought incoming. So this dam is complete, and we also have another water pump set up. And this way, we can actually pump just a little bit of this water here, even during a drought. And just when I thought there couldn't be more food, these are just completely maxed out. Okay, so I made another warehouse on top of each. 
And uh, there's no reason I need to do this. I am literally doing this just because it's fun. Yeah, they have almost 6,000 food <laughs> just in this district. Like we're doing good on planks and logs. Oh, nice! They got the <laughs> they got this flame flame of progress belt. I love the noises that they make. We got a temple over here, Ooh, and they're making really good progress on all the dirt. Uh oh! Holy moly! Okay, they. <laughs> what the heck? Why do they not have any food or water? Don't they have this being delivered? Okay, not good. As an emergency measure, let's take a look. These guys have 63 beavers. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna migrate all of them right next door to New York. Okay, let's do infinite. Okay, we got them all over there. Now these guys are gonna go and drink and eat all the resources from here and they'll be satisfied and while they're doing that, I can try to figure out a long-term solution. Okay, so they just gorged like a lot of the carrots. Oh, that bumped up the well-being. They probably were all at like a super negative well-being. Looks like everyone's doing good so we can transfer the residents back. These guys actually have a really good being level. Okay, now everyone's thirsty again. Uh, yeah, we gotta up this. Yeah, we gotta up the water production. How do they not have planks? Aren't they making planks? Oh, did they make this first? Yeah, they probably did, that's why. Oh my gosh, there are 41 unemployed beavers. Finally got enough platforms to build these stairs. Now I wanna see if we can fit a farmhouse over here. Okay, it does reach, that's awesome. We might as well get a second one constructed because we have plenty of beaver power over here. And we're gonna try planting some wheat. Have a grist mill ready for when the wheat is ready to be harvested. And then we can get a bakery set up. We have all the dynamite set up because I wanna have this whole area be a farm for wheat for the other district. For New York, that is. All well, the drought is starting and, oh man, all the water's going away. We do still have this little pool, you can see it there. They're pumping the water out of it. I'm gonna have the beavers start building this stuff right here because eventually I do wanna have the dam be up at this level. Okay, it's a new day, and we're gonna start blowing some stuff up. We're gonna make it look like we do in the mega builds. Pause it, detonate, move heads up display. Here we go. Boom. You know, we can actually connect this and do it all at once. Oh yeah, they just finished. So, I think I'm gonna do this here. Pause it. Don't know that one, and this one. And then watch them go, uh oh, that's way too fast. Oh my gosh, that is... <laughs> okay, well we kind of saw it, that, that didn't work very well. <laughs> so we have one final project that I'm not gonna explain quite yet, but in order to do it, we are going to chop down all these trees over here. I have plenty of extra labor. Look at that, 23 unemployed beavers in this district. We're just adding more flags as we chop down the trees. Just notice that these guys have zero water once again. Gotta make some more water pumps. I'm just gonna make three, try and keep us ahead of the curve. We'll see. As we're doing that, we'll just add some more lumberjack flags. Here are a little army of beavers over here. They are just going to town on all these trees. Oh look, they already filled this up. We're gonna have to make a few more piles. So I think I realized why this district is always running on water, and that's because they have no water storage. 
they literally don't have any water storage. It's just through the pumps. And since it costs gears to make large water tanks, we're going to have to do a few temporary smaller tanks. Let's do this. One right here and a couple up here. I am going to make a large water tank here, but we're not going to depend on this one since it requires gears and we're not making gears very quickly right now. Look at that, up to 28. It's almost 10 levels higher than we started the episode. With that comes an increased efficiency since they get a bunch of bonuses. And I didn't actually realize that they can have bonuses above 100%. So you see here, right now their working speed's at 100% and the next tier at 35 bumps them up to 110% bonus to working speed. Oh, it looks like this part of the dam is complete. We can start putting dam pieces in. No way, they already filled this. <laughs> These are both filled already. You know what we gotta do. We're gonna do another set. This is gonna keep going. There's 12,000 food. <laughs> Over 8,000 that is in this district. Looks like back in Connecticut, they are making pretty good progress. Oh wow, they're almost done with the two dirt cubes over here. Probably add a few campfires. Maybe another temple. And it looks like back in Rhode Island, we have the other warehouses built. They are starting to get filled. You can't even see the district center behind these two just humongous towers of food. So the beavers cleared out all of this area that used to be forest. And now we're going to put in the final surprise. And you guys are going to see this right here. And here we have five new districts. It is the final five. We have North Carolina, South Carolina, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and last but not least, Georgia. Now these districts aren't really serious districts. I just wanted to finish it out and get 13 in total. If it had taken a little bit longer to get 500 beavers, then maybe we could have expanded some more districts along kind of out in this area, but we didn't really need to take that long. We have some routes set up. It's really just the food and water. You can see this one actually is only food because I'm going to have them try and be self-sufficient with the one beaver that's going to be living here. And it's just going to be for a short time because we're almost at 500 beavers. Let's go see how some of the other projects are coming along. Cube is almost done. Let's see what we want to place here. Let's get a carousel because we didn't end up building one of those. But I do want to get some of these placed in here first. We're going to make this up here a fun little area to hang out, have the carousel, a couple campfires, rooftop terrace, and just give them a good time. Also have the dams, which are coming along pretty well. We have three pieces left, and then over here we just need to add one more so they can access this. And if you look at that, we have the two cubes completed, and there's some greenery because we have a little water dump here. Whittle. A whittle wa a womp. <laughs> oh god, that sounded awful. We have some gears being delivered from the other districts, and hopefully that will help these get built pretty quickly. And then once that's ready, we can have this one built, and they will be ready for a blast. So we got the first major project complete. Let's go check out the dam. Yes, and we have this dam and this dam just about ready. So now I'm going to add in the final pieces. Got one there, and then we just need to put one right here, and they can be completed now. We're going to place a few mini lodges around here as well, if I can find a place to fit all of them. So now I think it's time to migrate a few beavers. I think we'll fill these three up, because they will be able to hop in here and do some construction. Migrate them from nearby Delaware. One, two, three. I just realized these guys don't actually have any wood in their district. Except for these guys. So, they're, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to sit there while they watch people do work for them. George Bush just gets to watch people. And back in Connecticut, it looks like the dam is completed. It took quite a bit of wood to get that, but... I can see we have some water stored up. Perfect. 
We started building the final lodge because we're gonna actually need to build more than 500 beds to get the 500th beaver. I decided to build it here because this district needs some beavers and they can have this lovely view over here. It's been a few days and I am really just enjoying looking at this dam. It took quite a bit of effort to finish it. And now we're just waiting for the 500th beaver to be born. You can see we're at 496, 497 beavers. It's going up one by one. 500, okay, let's take a look. Pause it. So, Franklin D. Roosevelt, that was actually the 501st beaver, so that means that Donald Trump was the 500th beaver. Congratulations, Donnie. And with that, the Road to 500 Beaver Challenge is complete. We completed it in just under 18 cycles, although we definitely took our time for this final episode. Oh yeah, and don't look in the background. There's definitely not two more warehouses being built. Didn't do that. That's not me. I had an absolute blast recording this series, and for anyone who made it this far in the video, you guys are the ones who helped motivate me to keep making these. I loved all the comments that you guys left throughout the whole series, and I look forward to starting the next series. If you enjoyed the video and the series, let me know in the comments, leave a like, whole shebang. Thank you for watching. See you in the next series. Bye.